Hi everyone, I'm Ernie from Retirement SOS. Let's just say I hate exercising indoors. As a result, I don't get as much exercise in the winter. It's hard to get motivated when you look outside your window and there's snow and ice and it's cold outside. And I find if I don't exercise, I have a tendency to eat more. So that's not good. And I have to admit, I've been lazy about working out this January, but now that February is here, that's about to change. So I have a new name for my indoor training regimen, and it's called the old man, get off your behind winter exercise program. And it starts with 10 minutes of light stretching exercises and it's very important to do those before you start exercising because unfortunately last summer I learned a very painful lesson and I'm going to get into that shortly. So once warmed up I'm going to follow it up with 20 minutes on this dreaded treadmill though I'd rather be lying on that couch. The thing is no matter what I do I can't stay on this contraption for any longer than 20 minutes. And it's not due to getting tired, but I find it so boring and I simply don't enjoy it. So I'll cap off my routine with a combination of wall push-ups, knee raises, arm raises, standing body twists, probably for about an additional 10 minutes. So that all adds up to a 40 minute workout. And honestly, that's good enough for me. So when the weather permits, like today, I'll go for a half hour walk instead, providing the sidewalks are clear of ice, sleet and snow. And the reason being is you don't want to slip and fall, which could lead to broken bones. And you really need to respect your environment when exercising outdoors in the winter. Last July, I had a horrible week physically. I hurt myself twice in one week. So one night I go out onto the patio, I see the umbrellas open. All I wanted to do was close it, but it was stuck. And I was getting really frustrated because there was nothing I could do to close it. But what happened was in reality, I forgot to lift up a little bottom piece that was holding the shaft in place. But what I ended up doing was I was yanking and yanking that umbrella until I hurt my right shoulder. And it got to a point where I couldn't even raise my arm above my shoulder. And let me tell you, that was painful and it took a few weeks to heal. The problem was, in my mind, I'm still that same strong person that I was 30 years ago. The fact of the matter is, your bones aren't as resilient the older you get. So you really need to be cognizant of your physical limitations. So the next accident happened a few days later. And what it was is I was very frustrated by my shoulder pain and I couldn't do any upper body exercising. So one day I go down to the kitchen and I just started doing these knee raises faster than ever. And then after about five minutes, I felt a tightness in my calves and I had to stop. So I wasn't very smart because the takeaway is, is you should never start exercising unless you warm up first. And I learned a painful lesson the hard way. And you know what? It's a beautiful day. It's nice and sunny. So my body is ready. I'm now ready for a nice long walk in the winter and there's no snow or ice on the ground. So there'll be no tripping hazards. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. So until next time, bye for now.